Using images is similar in Card Designer to Album Builder. Simply drag a photo into an empty drop zone and you can adjust that photo and have all of the image options you're used to in Album Builder available in Card Designer. Additionally, you can add multiple photos into a drop zone. And drop zones work just like they do in Album Builder and Card Designer. So I can bring this photo, drop it between these two. Obviously that is not what we want. And then additionally, I can bring a photo up here and we can adjust these photos however we like. Drop zones are fully mobile. They can be set as layers. So we see this layer is on top of these layers, which is on top of this bottom layer, which is a color block. Additionally, we can resize drop zones, etc., move them around, add spacing, add a stroke, so you can do everything you can do in Album Builder on Card Designer in terms of multiple images and how those images work within a drop zone. Just above your photos, you'll find an icon that will give you access to all of the PNGs. So for example, if you have a save the date icon and you're not really a fan of the look of that, you can drop that PNG over it. Additionally, you can bring in your own PNGs and replace them on any design or create your own designs. A PNG has a layers option. Also, it has an alignment option. Additionally, you can change the color of any PNG by clicking the overlay color and then choosing to fade that color into a version of that. For example, black will fade to a gray uh, white will fade to lighter grays, etc. On the back of each card, you'll find a spot for your studio logo. We can click Add Photos. We can find a logo. Here is a Fundy Designer logo, which we'll import. And then we can swap that logo out with the logo on the design. So you can bring in any PNG and it will show up in the PNG section, not the photo section. So when you bring in JPEGs, they'll be dropped into the photo section. When you bring a PNG in, it will be dropped into the PNG section. On many card designs, you'll find color blocks. Now you can also add as many color blocks as you would like. You can resize them. And here you'll find the opacity of the color block, the ability to change the color, and then also the ability to move it backwards and forwards, and then your basic alignment options. For example, in this design, we find that if we increase our spacing, we see that there's white behind the photos. So I can take this color block and just expand it all the way to the edge, and then I can send it to the back. This also allows me to resize these photo blocks in this drop zone and play around. Or if we'd like to, we can take this entire color block, make it smaller, make this smaller, and create a completely different design with these save the date options. Again, you can have as many color blocks as you'd like. You can send them backwards and forwards, just like layers in Photoshop, and size them however you'd like. The icon to change the background color is this icon at the very top. You'll find the text tool, color blocks, and then the background icon. So changing background colors is simple as clicking on that icon, choosing the color you'd like, and clicking OK. Adding a text block in Funny Designer is simple as clicking the text tool. For already created text blocks, you'll find text sizing under the 2T option. You'll find fonts over here on the left. Any font, you can click the heart icon and favor that and it will always be at the top of your list. Additionally, you can grab a drop zone and pull it down to reveal more text. Here you'll find all of your alignments. If you'd like to rotate a text block, you can rotate that here. You can move a text block forward and back. 
align text, change bold and non-bold, italic, non-italic, italic, non-italic, text size, text color. To edit text, click the pencil icon and edit that text. When you click layouts and you scroll through the layouts and you filter the type of design you would like, maybe you don't see the exact design you would like. Click open on the design library and you can filter to the type of the design you would like and then you can go through and choose a design that suits your needs and download that to Fundy Designer. Now this design will be available not only in this project but all future projects for Fundy Designer.